タタラタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタタallegedly snuck a 17-year-old boy into their house behind their parents' back at night time. Apparently at about 2.30 in the morning, a little brother had went into the sister's room, saw two sets of feet, allegedly probably asked the sister who that was. The sister denied that anybody was in there. So the little brother walked, told Daddy. Daddy got his gun, went back in there to talk to his daughter, and then saw that the little boy was right and saw another man in the bed or somewhere in the room with the daughter. And he started asking questions. He even asked his daughter, uh, apparently, if he, she had known who the guy was. And she had, for some unknown reason, said no. What is wrong with kids today? Your daddy is sitting there, or standing there rather, talking to the guy with the gun in his hand trying to tell him to stay still, and you're going to tell your dad you don't know the guy, which really makes it real bad on the 17-year-old boy's part for being in the house. All right. Most kids know how their parents are, no when they're serious about something, no when they're joking around, and no one that they're bluffing. Um, why this girl decided to say she did not know him, I will never know, and I don't think nobody else will ever know the exact reason for that, but I'm thinking somewhere in her head she thought that uh, she says no, and Dad said, all right, come here, little boy, let's walk outside and go down the street, have a good day, and everything will be cool. Uh, not when you look at an intruder in the house, kids. I don't think any parent is going to allow that to happen with any strange guy in their daughter's room. Anyways, uh, apparently the Allegedly, the boy had went to reach for something. Daddy, assuming, thinking the possibility could be a weapon of some sort, shot the boy. And unfortunately had killed the boy in one shot. Allegedly. I think there was only one shot. I have not found any stories that said there was more than one shot. So, I'm assuming it was just one shot. Anyways, um, the whole situation probably would have been di diverted to a calmer reaction if the daughter would have just said, yeah... She knew he was to admit the consequences for being busted. So, there has been a, there has been no charges filed yet, according to all the news stories. But any event, likely event that the dad is charged with something for overuse of a firearm or overreaction. I don't know what the story might be. I hope they do something to the daughter too, because the daughter is what incited daddy to shoot the boy who he thought was an intruder in the bedroom. I mean, because I understand your mind's not going to think irrational and stuff. So, in the unlikely event something does happen to Dad, I hope that they do something to the daughter too. Because if the daughter would have admitted that she knew who he was, things probably would have not got deadly for a 17-year-old boy. And I hope this is a lesson to all minors out there that live under their parents' roof. Don't sneak a boy into your bedroom. <laughs> or girl, depending on whichever the case may be. Um... I'm sure many dads have probably done the same thing because you get all the dads are always going to get raged up really quick and, and fear for their daughter's safety and what's going on in this house and fear for anybody else that's in the house. He has a total of four children in that house, I think. So his number one priority was eliminating any possibility of a threat from this 17 year old boy, which I'm sure he didn't even know his age at the time. He just saw him with his daughter, figured. And his daughter was denying knowing who he was, so case closed. You reach for something, gonna assume it's the worst. So hopefully, kids all over will think twice before sneaking somebody into the room at night. And if they are doing it and they get caught, rather than denying knowing the person, they're just gonna admit it to save everybody's life, save a lot of hassle, save a lot of grief for both families and friends involved. So, all right, that's my bit on this news article. I hope you enjoy my take. Leave me any comments. Subscribe, like to my channel, please, and I'll 
bring various stories to you that I have an opinion on that I have not heard other people mentioning about. So, dun 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 Until next time, dun 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 I'm Don Johnson, signing off. Dun dun dun